Hi everyone, um, this is our guided notes for linear exponential quadratic objective two. So this focuses on word problems and you can see there's a couple different boxes here. We're gonna start by reading the word problem in the red box, um, making an equation, answering some questions in our blue box over here about the equation, and then lastly, answer one question in our green box, okay? So let's start by reading this word problem. It says, in 1955, the population of bald eagles in the United States was 2,000. The population of bald eagles has been increasing 2% in the United States every five years since 1955. Create a function to model the bald eagle population. So when I say create a function, we're making an equation. Now, there is like this pink colored box down here that gives you two different types of equations you can make. One of the equations um, is called the growth, which is um, what if your problem was increasing? The second type of equation is called decay, or what if your problem was decreasing? So that's our first step. Is this situation increasing or decreasing? Well, it very clearly says that the population is increasing. So I know I'm gonna be using the growth equation the only difference between, between the growth and the decay is the growth has a plus sign and the decay uses a minus sign. So the parts and pieces are um, the same. It's just plus or minus. So um, let's start. We already have like our y equals here. So we're going to start by figuring out what is my a, the a part of my equation. So down here it tells you, oh, a is your initial amount. So what was my starting, my initial population? My initial population of these bald eagles was 2,000. So I'm going to start by um, putting 2,000. Next, I see a parentheses. You're always going to have a 1 in the parentheses. We're going to have a plus sign because we know that this is increasing. Remember, you'd have a minus sign if it was decreasing. Next is R. R represents the growth or decay rate. We're growing. So how are how is this population growing? Well, it's increasing by 2%. But we have to put 2% as a decimal. We cannot leave it as a percent. So 2% as a decimal, a couple ways you can do it would be moving the decimal place 2 to the left. So if you move it 2 to the left, you get 0.02. Um, you could also take 2% and divide it by 100. That would get you 0 0.02, but you've got to turn that percent into a decimal. Okay? Then we're going to close this parenthesis. And the last thing we have is we have that X up high in our exponent. That just represents um, what time, what number of intervals we're figuring out. We're going to use that when we answer the questions in the blue box. But as of right now, we have just made an equation that represents this word problem. Starting value, it's increasing by 2%. Okay, so that's going to be the first type of question you'll get is to make an equation. Now, let's use this equation to answer our three questions over here. So also, if you can see the top here, I gave you a hint that you're going to use Desmos. So um, if you've watched the last um, video on objective one. We have used it, Desmos in that. We're going to use Desmos again, so have that open. And here's our first question. The first question says, what was the starting population of bald eagles? That's pretty easy, right? We know that the starting population was 2,000. So we're going to start off easy, 2,000. Now it's going to get a little bit harder. Now it's asking, okay, what was the second population taken of bald eagles? Um, we don't really know, right? So we're going to use this equation to help us. So I'm going to copy the equation I made, um, and I'm just going to copy like what I've typed, not this f of x or equals. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go over to Desmos, and I'm actually going to put the equation in Desmos. Okay, so 2,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.02 parentheses that x is up high. Okay, now remember x is like how many times am I looking for? Well, the question is asking for what is the second population? So in Desmos, I'm going to change this X to a number two, my second population. And here it gives me an answer. Desmos is like a calculator. It can give you an answer. 2,080.8. Now we're talking about animals, eagles, right? So you can't, you can't have 0.8 
of an eagle. So we're going to stick with 2,080. So when I go back to um, my answer, when it asks second, po second population, there is about 2,080 bald eagles on the second population. Um, question three, what was the fifth population? It can ask you any population now. We have an equation. We know how to use it. We have to just plug in whatever it's asking. We just did two. Now it's asking for the fifth population. It could ask you, what's the 10th population? What's the 100th population? It doesn't matter. Just go to Desmos and change that exponent. Now I'm looking for five. Here we go. Um, 2,208. Remember, we don't want this decimal. We're talking about eagles. We can't have, you know, parts of an eagle. So 2,208 is the amount of eagles taken on the fifth population. Okay. So once you have this equation and make sure it's correct, you can plug in any number you want and you can get any population you want. The last thing we need to answer is this green box. I'm going to read the question to you. It's the wording is definitely a little more difficult, so I'll explain what it's saying. Um, as the number of years or your x increases, what does the value of f of x approach? So what that is saying is as your years are going up or, you know, um, the first population, second population, fifth population, as your years are going up, the populations you take are going up, what is happening to your actual population? So if we can see, we started with 2,000 then 2,080, then 2,208, our population is getting bigger. So this is saying, okay, as your years are going up, your population is going up. So what is your population getting closer and closer to? If it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, what is it getting closer to? So my options here are 0 0.5, 100, infinity, or zero. If this is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger forever, then it's getting closer and closer to infinity. Okay, you can never reach infinity, but it's getting closer to it. Now, if this problem was decreasing or was getting smaller and smaller and smaller, it would be getting closer to zero. But since we're increasing, it's getting closer to infinity. Okay, so these are the three types of questions um, you're going to see on the quiz. Make an equation, use the equation, answer a question about your findings. All right, so good luck.